So I made a comment uh, earlier after seeing Purdue the last uh, two days, a couple of days ago in, in Mohegan Sun, and Rob was there as well, that I think Purdue could beat Gonzaga right now. And after watching this game, I'm not going to say, like, they're going to beat Gonzaga, but I think they can play with them. I think it's a better matchup for them than it is for UCLA because they've got an electric guard that is big, strong, athletic in Jaden Ivey, who's great in transition, okay? They've got two bigs that honestly are going to give Chad Holmgren and Drew Timmy some problems. And then they got enough other pieces, and they'll guard you. They are tough as shit. That's what Matt Painter's teams do. And they've got a lot of really good players. You know, again, Isaiah Thompson. Well, you know what it is? You know what it is, Goodman? I think that Zach Eady is the only player in college basketball that is not going to be affected by Chet Holmgren's length. And if Chet, if you, if you're not affected by Chet Holmgren's length, then he's got nothing. Zach Eady's going to put him all the way through the basket stanchion. <laughs> he will put him so deep, so yeah, he, deep at the rim. I'm not even, even like, I'm not even trying to make a joke. Like Zach yeah. Eady literally weighs more than a hundred pounds more than Chet and he's Holmgren. Seven, four. And he's seven, four. So not Chet Holmgren is looking up. Up. So yeah. like, so that that is that is why I think that um, it, it it makes sense, and it's not just the post touches, right? Like one of the plays that really stood out to me in the first half, and, and hopefully Chet's okay. He just landed on the back of his head. Um, yeah, it looks like he's fine. One of the plays that really stood out to me was that first uh, the first drive that Chet had, where he grabbed a rebound, he went the length of the court, and he drove in and he laid the ball in. And everyone was like, oh, look at that move by Chet. And what I saw was Drew Timmy sealing off two big guys to give Chet that layup at the rim, right? The value of having Zach Eady is that he can just get in the way of Chet and make it so that you don't have that weak side shot blocker coming in to try to get you. The same thing with, with Trevion Williams. Like, those dudes are hard to get around. How's Timmy – hey, how is Timmy going to guard Trevion Williams? Now, I know how is Trevion Williams going to guard Timmy, but, but honestly – Timmy's going to be absolutely destroyed if Travion Williams gets the ball in the post against him. He is. So is so is so is uh, anyway. Zach Eady's going to do the same thing. Like it's just it's very difficult matchups for him, and um, that that's part of the reason why I like that that for Purdue. The other part is that it's the stuff that they run, right? Like it's, they get so much. You you can be a great. Like let's just assume, okay? Let's just assume that Gonzaga is a great defensive team, not good. Let's just call them great. Let's just pretend that they are for argument's sake. The thing about Matt Painter's sets and what he runs is you can get so many shots just out of the stuff that they run. You don't even have to worry about going one-on-one. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's the staggers and the down screens and all of the counters. Like you talk about Isaiah Thompson. They had one where a couple different times they set a back screen for Edie uh, with Thompson and, and, and got Edie like cutting into the post. That game winning shot they hit, they slipped that back screen. They just had Thompson uh, pop out and hit a wide open three. And that's Another how they got that last one because both defenders, both the defenders went with Edie. So it's just those little things like that. They can get so much out of their offense. It doesn't matter how good you are defensively. Yeah. Steve, I, you, buy, I, you buy in Purdue? Yeah, I'm all in. Uh, you know, I've had a chance, you know, this year has been great for me just to go around and watch different practices and see teams and play Matt's team in 2017, the NCAA tournament. And, you know, the second half, we ended up having to go five out because they had Haas and Swan again. We just put Burton at the five and went small just yeah. to try to be able to score and, and kind of go matchup game against them. So I went up there and watched them in September and talking to Matt, I know he's got about six or seven guys back that average double figures. That's unheard of. He's got an older team. Edie and Williams are huge up front. Jay Ivey, he's got shooters and then solid point guard play. I'm all in on Purdue. Uh, you saw it this weekend. You beat North Carolina. You beat Villanova. And I didn't see the Villanova game, but if I heard right, they were down 10 and then came back and beat Villanova. That's impressive in itself, but they got the toughness to stay with Gonzaga. Rob touched on their half-court execution and their ability to get the ball to Williams and Edie in spots that they can score is huge. That's what they're about. And then we talked about this off-air, transition defense, jamming the point guard early in transition, early point of pickup. That's a Matt Painter staple, and so be a heck of a game. Uh, but Purdue is a team I, I would be all in on, and and think they would give Gonzaga a great, great game. Kansas, you think they're clear like three now? I mean, do 
I, I think it's, again, for me, it's Gonzaga 1, Purdue 2. And I still think Kansas has got a, a little bit of a ways to go. They can get there when they integrate Remy Martin, and he kind of gets comfortable. And it'll probably take a little bit longer for, for Bill Self to uh, break him down and then bring him back, is my guess. But are we putting Kansas there yet? I I don't think that I, I would quite yet just because – I think they can get there and I think they did, they deserve to be in that like tier one category. However we phrase it, they're, they're definitely top five to me. Um, I need to feed, I need to, I need to see Remy Martin continue to be this guy that will let the game come to him and make the plays uh, down the stretch. And I need to continue to see Oshai Baji play the way that he played in those first two games of the season. Been good, man. He's kept it going. He has kept it going and, and confidence is everything. Uh, for Igbaji, and if, and if he can have confidence, that means he's putting it on the floor a little bit, and, and that makes them a, a much more well-rounded team. And, and and having a guy that's kind of – he's never going to be an alpha dog, but he can be a go-to guy. If he can be that guy, that's, I think, what Kansas needs. Uh, Honestly, Steve. as weird as this sounds, I think that Kansas would have an easier time with Gonzaga than they would with Purdue. I think they match up a little bit better just because – I mean, we talked about this on the – the live stream, Steve, the way that 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 Bill can kind of scheme post touches and post seals for McCormick could be a very easy way. Well, I don't want to say easy, but an effective way at getting Chet Holmgren in foul trouble. Yeah. And then, you know, Kansas, we haven't seen them yet. You know, now they add Wilson back. I believe it will he play against North Texas on Thursday. North Texas is good. That won't be a, a runaway game, I don't think, by any means. But the one thing about sales teams, too, it's like, are you ready to put them there right now? His teams always get better and better yes. and better and better as the season goes on. But agbaji has been terrific. Uh, McCormick is big up front. You know, Mitch Lightfoot is their backup five, who's been in the league now six years and is very, very solid. Uh, but I like that Kansas team a lot. And once they get Wilson back in the fold, you know, I think this team's just going to continue to grow and grow. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they do down in Orlando uh, when, when you look at that field. Um, you know, Belmont, Drake, you know, Miami, Dayton, you know, there's a couple like that. So I don't, I don't know where their big, big tests will come from down there. If I'm looking at the bracket, right. 